Okay. Yeah, last time we, we found a number of the the citizens that we were looking for. I think we have seven that we need to find, but we found two of them. Yeah, you One did. One was uh, held in a cell, and we got him out. And he, uh, he took a look at those runes uh, on the floor in another, another room, and uh, he might be able to figure out what those are about once he gets back to town and can study it. Then we found the other, uh, the lady, I can't remember her name, but she was uh, about to be offered as a sacrifice in a room. We were able to free her, but uh, we didn't get any resistance there. And so we got her back to this room where we had spent the night. Uh, it looked like uh, the place where they slept and kept quarters, but they're all gone now, so we're, we're using their beds. Yes, the rat infested beds, yeah. Yeah, the guy we uh, rescued from the cell was Suetonius. Yep. Also found the body of, of uh, in, in the room with the, what were those, um, fey, uh, tree-like things, I can't remember what they're called. Yep, the, the web spinners, yep. The web, yeah, the web spinners, I can't remember what the, the race, the, we found a body of a, of a, 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 a young, Young adult, a, 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 a sort of 12, 13 year old boy that uh, appeared to have oh, been uh, drained. Etta Caps, that's Etta-caps, the thing. That's it. Yeah. yeah, we found found him in there. Yep, you find Martala, Sertanian, and Cartnix. Cartnix was the father of that uh, young kid that said, Find my daddy. <laughs> well, we have two live bed. I need four or more. Uh, so we regrouped in this, in this room with the braziers that move around and shoot fire across it. Mm-hmm. They seem to be dormant at the moment. And that's where we end it. Alright. Let's give you guys a, uh, a short rest. You'll have back all your encounter powers and whatnot. All right, so you guys have basically, and you remember, you almost well, you also found stairs that were going down into complete darkness, also possibly to another level of the labyrinth. You guys were discussing because of how this how this level was already a little wacky with, uh, you know, remember the spiral stairs. Yeah, the ups and downs. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you, you still have two other areas. You need. You've got the staircase that is in front of you. And then you also have <laughs> moving that moving that brazier kind of. I was like, "Whoa, is this map a? It's like a wow, oh, it's crazy." I thought it was an animated map already, which this will be <laughs> no, coming in the future. I was that would be awesome, wouldn't it? I was wanted to scroll, and I was just pointing my mouse <laughs> over the brazier. <laughs> no, it's no problem. Also, to the east, there is the store that you guys had not ventured into either. So you guys have two ways to go. I think, Miss Fail, that we should go east for to the south. If you remember, I did see those uh, goblins, hobgoblins, going down and letting them in, themselves in. So we know that there are at least a troop of hobgoblins down there. Whereas to the east, we have heard nothing. I feel to the east would be our best bet. What say you? Yeah, I agree. That's a, it's a good sign that something is that way. We don't have a sign that anything's to the north yet, so I'll check that first. I'll, I shall stealth over and pick the lock. And, oh no, sorry, that's your job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to listen at the door first. Well, the door is already open, so yeah. Oh, this is open yeah, right there? Yeah, the door is already open, yeah. You guys had known that. Uh, you had seen to the end of this hallway. You see that the hallway goes north. Yeah, that was a uh, when uh, when you guys first came in and you met that first okay. pack of goblins. All right, so you look down the hall. It's a very it's a very long hall. It it is a it is a lit hall. It does have a couple torches and and sconces in it, and it looks like there is a a flight of stairs that are going up about twenty five feet. So it's it's actually ascending up. Alright, that's not too far. I think this is considered still this level, don't you think? Well, we, might just, we, we may just as well consider it to be 
a level or another level, level or, or whatever. Let us investigate, Miss Vale, investigate. I'm gonna, as I approach the top of the stairs, I'm gonna slow down just a little to peek above. I don't want to just go running up there. Yeah. Well, it, it, it's kind of funny because you hear a sort of like a speaking out of character, you start to hear a an electrical hum as you ascend up the stairs. You start to hear that. It's not like my girlfriend's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Nice. She conducts electrical experiments. What were you thinking? <laughs> Shocking. Oh, well done, Miss Fern. Well done. I know, worm food's rubbing off on me. <laughs> two minutes. We're, we're two minutes into the game. We're already swerving off. <laughs> swerving off course, sir. Iceberg straight ahead. Uh, yeah, but you you hear this, you hear a humming, and you can see that it opens up into a a room, probably about fifteen foot the ceiling. You can see the top of the ceiling. Looks like a fairly, fairly a uh, well put together area. I mean, it has a like a polished ceiling and whatnot. And then you can see, you know, uh, slightly over the stairs because you can't see quite, can't quite see over the stairs yet. You can see that there is a sort of like a pulse of different color lights. Pink, orange, green. Not very bright. It's not like it's changing the the color of the entire room like as in a like a nightclub or something. It's like very light glows, like a purple over to the right and a pink to the left, a green straight ahead. Let's guys hold up right here. I'm gonna s sneak up there and take a peek. All right, you do that, Miss Fowl. All right, drop a stealth check into the tower for me, and then you may you may proceed. All right. So you get up to the to the top of the stairs, I will go ahead and open up what you see. Oh. Large room, about about 50 foot across. It looks like another like another crypt. And what you see as you go over the stairs as you get to the top, you don't see anything in here. Well, you do. You see a bunch of runes that are glowing that are that's basically dominating the center of the floor and you can see that over to the right hand side to the east there's a 10 foot double door and on the walls just like the other tombs and crypts that you've been into there are a bunch of these huge niches or alcoves and but there's really nothing in the alcoves they are they're they're basically just empty from what you can see. It's on the north wall. Uh, actually, on the the north, there's a couple on the the eastern wall on the left side of the door, and they're they line the left hand wall too. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. And there's nothing in the niches. They're empty. No, there it it appears the ones that you can see straight ahead from you, and the ones to the right and to the left, they look like they all are empty. Yes. Alright, what are these on the floor? The dark runes? Yeah, they they or look like a like a magical type of rune. Are they flat? Yeah, it's or yeah. Are they, they sitting are. up off the ground? No, they're they're flat, they're sort of etched into the floor. Oh, okay. Yeah, this map kinda looks like there's a shadow under them, so I wasn't sure. Yeah. Yeah, they're they are they're etched into the floor. Uh, and this is where the lights are coming from, correct? Correct, yeah. The the room is dimly lit because of the runes. And they're all they're all kind of intensifying and getting you know, getting brighter, dimming in color. Some of them switch colors, 
but there's enough of them lit brightly enough to, to you know brightly well dimly light this this room Miss Faye, is it safe? Can we come up? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, you really want to take a look at this? Yeah, there's sixteen total of sixteen runes on the floor. Look at this glow, it's going, going on here. Like yeah, and, and, and all four of you guys, all four of you, as you as you get close to these, you can you can literally feel the hair stand up on your arms. And you can actually see it too, as all of your hair uh, on your arms and you know you, the hair on the back of your neck is all is all standing up. A lot of static, a lot of static energy in here. It's glowing like a like a like a like a halfling discotheque. <laughs> it is. That's the type of game. And no, seriously though, I've seen a lot of these in my time. They're generally puzzles that will allow us access. I'm wondering if this door is the prize. And Dave, I'll move over to the door just to uh, check this door out and add it. Sure. You want to check the door? Okay. Sure. What are you checking the door for? Just like, uh, for the lock? There's just a basic, uh, uh there's just a, uh, basic... Lock, nothing, nothing too fancy. Maybe if you're talking to us, I can turn. Yeah, there, there. It's just a baby. I forgot to push down the the button. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm off today, so sorry. Tighten about up, that. Dave. Uh, up. Yeah, I know. I, I need to. All these, you know, just losing all these players just makes me uh makes me get flustered, I guess. So, the door has a, a very primitive lock, like like all the other locks that you've seen. Now, Vane, where did you move when you were moving? What what path did you take? Okay, you basically Turned through the secret to that. Okay, I, I figured you probably went around, but I saw your token just yeah. jut right through all of them, and I was like, oh, yeah, right. sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah, you feel you you feel the same static electricity in the in the, the new area that you're in, vain. Now the lock uh, doesn't even appear to be locked, Vay. It looks like it's it's open. The, it looks like the door's open. All right, I want to check it. Make sure it's not trapped or anything. Okay, you can go ahead and throw throw one in the uh, the dice tracker for me. And the seeker, the seeker wants to do a. Uh, he thinks he may. Well, he, he he actually he makes a suggestion to Pride that maybe these things have some kind of religious value or magical value that you could deter with an Arcana check. So. Okay, I will. Yeah, uh, Mr. Seeker, why don't you give me a uh, an Arcana check? I don't know. It's, I don't know how it's going to work out for you. I, I don't think he has a very good Arcana, but Wait, which one is Lord playing? I thought he's playing the Claret. Uh, he, he is. He is. But and, we, uh, we don't have lower? anyone else with uh, with magical powers. So. Yeah, yes, in the tower, please. Yeah, Ve, you don't see any traps, it, and you actually notice that the door is is unlocked. Uh, all right, Pride, uh, you've got enough knowledge in both religion and magic to where this this rune, this empty crypt with no, you know, there there's actually no tombs inside of this. It is. All of these these runes they spell something out, and it's sort of like a uh, it's sort of like a uh, uh, like a religious type of symbolage that that just says this tomb basically this this tomb is for the Vonjalic family, and it, it appears to be that they are a a, a religious family. All you know, devoted to the church. It doesn't say you know what patron deity that they that they worship or whatnot, but it does say that this is for the Von Jolik family. So it's mostly just a religious. Uh... It's a fancy welcome to the Von Jolik family crypt, basically. Yeah. 
But it does it does put off some, some uh, a rather uh, a rather forceful sort of energy that you're feeling the hair on your you know body stand up. Uh, Lord, were you telling us this? Uh, yeah. Well, what do uh, you know of these uh, runes? When why would they be different colors? And Dave, you did say that we noticed some of them switching colors. Yeah, some of them are. are they're really not switching colors per se. They're getting brighter and getting softer. Getting oh, brighter and okay, softer. Okay. Yeah. Flickering. Yeah. So it's it's yeah, it's basically as as you know, pride he conveys to you that it's like a fancy sign saying that this is where the Von Jolik family tomb is and this is where they lie, but it, it seems like, like they never you. made it here. <laughs> um a like, slide up the pride. Look, like uh, if you, uh, yeah, right. for saying it, in, uh, like if you see a neon sign in a shop nowadays, it's a, a flickering, uh, <laughs> d uh, brighter and dimmer, but it is saying, uh, welcome to the crypt oh. of the Von Jolik family. family. Yep, Von Jolik family. Right. You seem to always know about everything that's happening in here. Would you like to explain yourself? Are you questioning me? What have you gotten us into now? <laughs> How did you know about this family? That's what the, the symbols say. That's just the symbols, but I, uh, but I, I see here on the ground. For no. the rest, I don't know anything about this family. Oh, so you can read this? Yeah, it's what the their their religious symbols and it and it spells it out. It's Basically, just it's the, the, those are the religious symbols, and I can read those symbols. Yeah, Phil's just playing her character against Pride and knowing their relationship and okay. all. Yeah, I think I think uh, Pride's ready to start healing people. <laughs> 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 well then, if you know so much about uh, the, what they say, can you tell me why they change colors? Why they are different colors? Does that matter? Go for it, Lord. Improv. Improv. I know. <laughs> he in, gets, in, in your he best he gets Tennessee nervous. accent as well, please. He, he gets <laughs> South nervous. South Carolina. <laughs> yeah. Oh, North Carolina. Yeah. I think he's in North Carolina. Well, well, they're uh, all the same to me. <laughs> Lord gets Lord gets so nervous when you put him on the spot. I say you're speechless. Well, <laughs> he is. <laughs> that, <laughs> that tells me everything I need to know, Pride. I see you've got the nest into some crazy stuff again here. No. Oh. I walk over to these doors, Dave, and open them. Hallway that drifts to the right. Dave, can I try an arcana check to see if I could recognize anything about these these runes? Sure. I'm sure. Being of, of Fey origin. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say no. <laughs> they're not made of wood, and they're not tree like. I know nothing about them. Oh uh, my! Yep, they they are not. Well, let's get the ones out of the way to start with. Dave, we? can I can I can I determine if 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 Pride really knows what he's talking about, or he's just bullshitting us again? Give as give he me usually yeah, does. yeah, give me an insight check. Give me uh, well, yeah. You you think he's genuine, but you you probably figure that it, he has some ulterior motive, just because it's pride. You know what I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, Lord, I want you to give me a just roll a twenty sided, and odd and even if uh, because you and Wes bought a boon for tonight. So yeah. I, I believe um, it's a, if it's odd, it's just in the chat. Yeah, odd as players, even as a monster. Yeah, just roll in the chat, yeah. Alright, so it looks like it's going to you guys. It's odd. 
so it goes to the player. So all of you guys get a plus one tonight. All right. Okay. All right. So you guys get plus one. Yeah, it seems like he's got some kind of underlying motive. Uh, fail, but you know it is pride. All right, I'm putting a min a mental pin in this room, and okay. I'm going to proceed. What what I'm expecting to see is maybe some uh, tombs or something like that. So I'm going to proceed along, and if uh, if it doesn't look uh, like I'm thinking or like pride is as indicated to me, I may do some more investigation. But right now, right. I'm going to take him for what he says. Well, let's look for these buried peoples. We we can't corpse rob buried peoples. It's wrong. <laughs> Looks like this. Oh, fine, but we still need to find those other missing people, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, of course, of course, Miss Vale. This it room might is be dark. Buried with the other people, though. See, I have to check. Or maybe look there. Yeah, th this room is definitely dark. Uh, you know the. We can all see in the dark. The di yes, the dim light from the. The runes, they do not uh, illuminate this room. And as you, you peek around the corner, it appears to be this is another room of the crypt, but you hear water kind of splashing around. Maybe like a, like ah, a, like a flowing water, water yes. Mm -hmm. Natural water. Now this is more my thing. I can tell you about natural water. Yeah, yeah I'm thirsty. Let me test the water before you drink it, for we know not whether it be poison. Yeah, and, and down towards the south, as you kind of peek around and look, you can see that there's a sort of like a cell to the very southern portion of this room. And you can see an individual that is... Oh, I guess I should get in the room. <laughs> that's actually shackled. Yeah, look at there. I found another one. Lo and behold, you found another one. Rubbing the hands together, or gold. No. You know, you see the water fountain. Just a, you know, a, a, a very, I mean, it's a beautiful, very intricately, des intricately designed water fountain. Water is coming out of it. The water looks to be clean. Can I do a nature check to ascertain whether it is safe to drink? Sure. You, you want to taste it, or you want to... Just kind of inspect it. Look, sniff, smell, taste sure. on the tip of the tongue. Sort well, of thing. yeah, you taste it, and it's it's actually a really cold water, and it, and it tastes really good. Nice, uh, <coughs> nice roll. Yeah, it's it's definitely a, a pure water, probably from from some under underwater well. Well, underwater spring, and like I said, the the water is very, 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 very cool to the touch. Replenish my water skins and uh, and and drink my fill. Come, friends. Ah, uh, very refreshing. Yes, and there is a, a a gentleman down, you know, down in the cage, and he is definitely shackled up. I mean, he's got shackles on his feet, shackles on his on his basically on his wrist, and they're all embedded into the wall. A dangerous individual in have. Yeah, I got pink eye. You're gonna get it. Excuse me, sir. No, I don't you seem to be eye. a little um, <laughs> tied up. Yes, yes, I am. I I've been here for uh, several days now, and I I I've not had anything to drink, and I've I've been having to stare at this, listen to this water fountain for days, and I'm so thirsty. Oh, uh, lady, may I please have something to drink? Oh, well, sure. Tell me, was, why would you get in here and shackle yourself up like this? I was, I was taken from the town of Brindle. My name is Adronthius, the alchemist. I am the apprentice of, of, of Adronthius. Oh, I thought you were something oh. familiar. Uh, yes, we can tell you. Here, yeah, I pass him my water skin and, and, and hold it up for him well, so he may drink through the bars. Hold up, Vane. Hold up, Vane. Oh, 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 Miss Vale. Uh, well, Fail. this, uh, this water, I think, would, uh, grant us, uh, quite a, quite a bargain, a deal on some of his prices later. Absolutely. What, would, wouldn't of, you agree, uh, Drumgis? 
Uh, are, 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 are you here? From Brindle? We are, my friend. Did, did, did they not do any kind of reward for for our return? Or... Cause I'm sure, I'm sure my my master Adronthius would probably reward you kindly. No, they just said people went missing, and we took it on our noble selves to find you all. Miss Fail, the poor man is suffering. He is, he is of a thirst. We must quickly allow. Oh, I him thirst to for good prices on quality magical items. Uh, but you don't miss, see me putting up a fuss about it. Adrosius doesn't have magical items. He, he just deals in, in potions and elixirs, and salves. Well, well you whatever. He is not a merchant. A, a bargain is a bargain. Do you, do you mock my? Picky. Are you mocking my voice, sir? No. No, I'm merely, <laughs> merely communicating. <laughs> Maybe you on a level it that you may understand. It, see, it seems to me that you are. My mouth is now shut. You may go. You are just as evil as the creatures that stole us from Brindle. <laughs> I, I shun you. I, I, I would do it some more, but it makes the side of my nose vibrate and it's most distressing. <laughs> it makes it tickle. <laughs> Don't you see me itching my nose every it makes time one I. one nostril. I'm vibrate. like, yeah, it's I'm like, I gotta awful. hold my nostril shut almost to do that voice. Ah, uh, very I'm not well. picking Give my nose, honestly. Uh, oh. Drink, drink your fill, my friend. And my friend Fail, she'll, she will find some way to to release you from your shackles. She can pick locks like a like a like a skilled thief. like a thief. Yeah, like a thief. Like a thief. Yeah, exactly. Or, thief. or 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 like, like this elf like a, with a key in my hand. Like Thank a you. cutthroat. Like a thief. Oh, a key. That's right. I cut a throat and got a key. Ah, How the about key. That? Yeah, the key goes right into the lock and click pops right open. If call you, me a thief. I was trying to. I was trying to arrange for a bargain. If you object you to my thief. friend, if you object to my friend Fail's use of the key and her picklocks, we could just go away and wait for the goblins. Then that's okay. I'm sure Adrontius will. I'm sure he will take care of you. We are cousins, you see. I'm sure we do bear some kind of slight resemblance. It is. <laughs> it's uh, in the nose. It looks like Wolverine. <laughs> there you go. Um, I'm going to attempt to release the shackles. Have you found the others yet? We have found some, yes. Ah. We will take you to the others and you can join we them found, until we've we gotten found the others. others yes. Oh, very good. Do, Do you know where any of the others went? Well, my, as my nose is itching from doing this voice. Yes, <laughs> Jalitha was with me. But they they took her. They they were taking her to another crypt. I believe it was they were saying something they were they were gonna have to take her down to the lower level. Down to the lower level. Excellent. Uh, who who changed you to uh, chained you up here? Was it goblins or there was a, it was a couple gnomes. There were a couple, uh, a couple really nasty gnomes. They, they, they weren't very nice. No, they were, it makes no, feel better. We took care of them. They were, they were. Oh, you took care of them. As, That's right. That's why I have this key. As in taking care of it. them, as in offing them. I gave them a great discount. Oh my. As a lot of people in here don't like to do, but I am very generous. Huh? I do those sorts of things. Hey, hey, lady! I didn't say I wasn't going to give you a discount. I appreciate you freeing me. I said a Jorthius would probably take care of you. You can come back and see me when I'm there too, and I would take care of you. Cause my name is Jensen, you see. I'm Jensen, the apprentice of a Jorthius the Alchemist. That is my title. <laughs> Be free, my friend. Be free and follow us to your companions. I shall do that, Mr. Ranger, maybe? 
I indeed am a man of the forest and of the highlands. You may call me you may call me vain. Vain? Well you're not very vain. You're you're kind of the opposite of vain. I am so 